Kiss Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing card number five in my holiday card series for 2017. And I'm going to start out with this piece of craft card stock along with this die here from Lawn Fawn. This is their wood green background stamp or stamp <laughs> background die. And I thought I would give some nice texture to my background of my card today. So I thought I would get, use that out. And then I'm going to get out this older stamp set. This is from Sunny Studio. It is called Holiday Style. It was released last year and it was one of the popular ones last year. But I didn't feel like I got enough use out of it. So I wanted to get it back out for this year. And I'm going to use this long branch here or this long um, like pine uh, like tree branches, if you will. You know what I mean. Um, and I'm going to stamp this three times and onto this piece of craft card stock. My craft card stock comes from Paper Tray Ink. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to put this in my Misty because I am going to be stamping this down with uh, some white pigment ink. And I want to make sure that I get a good impression. I am going to be embossing this too. So my pigment ink is going to allow me to apply some white embossing powder and make this really bright white. Um, that's pretty much my tip for anything that you want bright white like this is to use white pigment ink and then apply the white embossing powder on top and this goes for whether you're stamping on craft or darker card stocks or even white um, if I'm going to do anything in white I, I do this usually is what I do and you could use your just regular Versamark ink um, and use your white embossing powder that's not a problem um, for my images today I just wanted to make sure that they, they were really bright white because I wanted them to stand out onto my craft card stock so like I said, I'm stamping this down three times. Then I'm going to set that my Misty aside here and then get my white embossing powder, which is from Hero Arts. And I'm going to make sure that I get this embossing powder all over this, all three of these images. And just make sure they're good and coated. And then I'm going to take my heat tool and heat set this. Make sure that all that embossing powder is good and melted. And it takes just a little bit of time just to heat up my heat tool, but it's well worth it because you don't want to apply your heat gun directly to your cardstock right off because it will warp your cardstock. In this instance, it wouldn't that be big of a deal because I am just um, cutting out the images with the coordinating die. But, um, but just in general, if you're going to be embossing, it's good to heat up your heat tool for a few minutes, make sure it's good and hot first, and then go in and make sure that you're, that way it will uh, it melt your embossing powder faster and evenly too. And I like to heat my cardstock on the back too, just to make sure that it's um, got a little bit of heat on both sides of it. And it, will, and it will also prevent a little bit of warping too that way. So I'm going to do just a little bit of stamping here. I'm going to take this alter new little ink set that I have. And I'm tipping, taking the ruby red and the coral berry cubes out of here. And I'm taking the little ornaments out of that holiday style set. And I'm going to be inking this up several times only because I'm trying to get a good impression and I am using just my, my acrylic block and not my Misty for this. So you will see me have me, um, I will be stamping this down several times. That's why, but I'm only going to be using one of the images. So I'm just trying to make sure that I get one that's really good and um, make sure. And so it takes me several times to get <laughs> the one that I like the most out of it. So I'm first starting out with the coral berry and I'm going to use that with the whole uh, solid image here of the ornament. This is the lighter of the two reds if you will two pinky reds. Uh, so and I really do like these inks like I said I got these in a haul about a month or so ago and I did uh, put them in a haul video and I said that I wasn't really going to invest into these inks because I've got plenty of ink to work with. But um, I really have been enjoying these inks and I primarily got it because of the coral berry color. Um, it's just not a color that I have and I really, really do like it. It's really beautiful. So I'm just stamping out and a lot of the stamping, I apologize, I had to edit it a lot of it out because my head was in the way and there's no point of seeing my head if you can't see the stamping. So that's why I just uh, edited it out. But you can see there, I got a really good solid image there. Really beautiful and it looks realistic. Off camera, I also die cut the season's greetings. This comes from Simon Says Stamp and I um, also die cut a, one from Craft as well as some from the Silver Sparkle cardstock from MFT. 
and I went ahead and off camera stacked those on top of any, of each other. It took me quite a bit of time to get these out of the card stocks and then put them on top of one another just to create this substantial die cut. So that's why it's not in the video. But you get the idea of how that goes. It's just stacking on stacking the die cuts. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my card together and just kind of arranging these um, images that I die cut with the branch here onto my card stock here, card panel, and just kind of arranging them because I want them to appear as if it's like a full branch, if you will. So um, I'm just going to like get those into place exactly where I want it. That's why I'm using the liquid glue here because it allows me to move them around just a little bit if I need to and adjust them however I need to. But this third one here, obviously it's going to be the one that's on the top here. And I wanted to give it a little bit of dimension and not so flat to the card. I thought about tucking it a little bit, but then I just decided not to do that. So I'm adding some foam adhesive on the back here just to make sure I get that dimension that I'm looking for and making sure that I get all of the edges of this and because eventually this probably will go through the mail and I don't want it to get crushed in the mail. So I'm just adding this to the top there and you can see that it really does give it a lot of dimension. It's really fun. And then before um, I am going to go ahead and add my ornament here, I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the bottom and then add just a little bit of glue to the edge of this little ornament because it will just kind of tuck onto that branch and give the illusion that it's hanging from that branch. I got just a little bit too much glue there. So I'm just going to take off the backings of my foam adhesive here and then place that onto my branch. And like I said, it will give the illusion that it's just hanging there off that branch. It's really pretty. And I like the look of these branches that are white. Um, last year I made a card, if I can think about it, I will list, link the video that I did last year. And I actually used the bell um, from that stamp set with this branch. And it just gives it a whole different look um, from green than it does, you know. And I wanted a different look from what I did last year. So that's why, and I love the look of white onto craft. So that's what I chose for this, this year, for this card. And I needed to move over my little ornament here. It was just a little bit too much over to where my my um, my die cut <laughs> sentiment couldn't fit. So I have to carefully remove that and then just kind of slightly move it over. Now, ignore my wild hair. <laughs> um, I, you know, it was just, it was kind of in my face and I had to get it out of my face a little bit. But I was too lazy to go get me a little hair clip. So, <laughs> so that's why it looks kind of crazy. But uh, that's not what this video is about. It's just a, it's about this beautiful car that I'm making, right? So, <laughs> so just ignore my hair. You'll see it quite a bit and quite a bit in this video. So before I go ahead and hear my die cut sentiment, I want to add just a little bit of ink around the edges of this cardstock because it's going to give it I felt like it was just a little bit too plain and I needed to I really wanted to focus the focus obviously is the branches and the ornament and this will allow me to give that that little finished edge if you will because I don't have any stitching around that edge and it will also bring in kind of like a spotlight if you will since I'm making the edges dark it will kind of bring in your eye to the middle too so by doing that it will just allow that spotlight focal point to stand out a little bit more. So I'm taking my multi-medium glue here and I'm just adding some little beads of glue onto this sentiment, both die cuts, and just taking my tweezers here and getting my sentiment onto my card panel here right where I want it. Now I didn't put the apostrophe or the dot to the eye because it was just too finicky for me to even mess with. So um, if that bothers you, obviously you could totally add that to your card. But for me, it wasn't that big of a deal to just leave it off. And it was just the pieces were just way too little for me to even mess with. So I just left them off. And so now I'm going to put my card onto my white card base. So I'm just, it will take up the whole entire card front here. I'm just going to get more glue on the back of this and get this onto my white card panel and card base. And then for a final touch, I thought I would go ahead and add some, because you can't have, even though I have the glitter die cut, I wanted a little bit of shimmer and shine onto my ornament. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Winko Stella Sheer Clear Shimmer Pen and add a little bit of glitter to my ornament. And it just, I love these Winko Stella pens because it just adds a lot of shimmer and shine in a really 
quick manner. It just, you know, it's a quick fix and a instant gratification to add some shimmer and shine. And the, obviously the glitter doesn't get everywhere as opposed it did in my last video. If you saw my last video, you know what I'm talking about. Glitter was everywhere. But um, that completes my card for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you are interested in any of the supplies I use, I do list them and link them in below the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in a card for card number six very soon.